Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to implement saving inside our pet system. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is go to the description and find the pet system. After that, you can go to your toolbox and insert it. Now that you have it, we need to publish our game. So I'm just going to go to file, publish to create new game. Survey. And I'm just going to turn team create off, but you can turn it on. Now we need to go to game settings, security, and enable studio access to API services so we can use our data stores. Now let's go ins inside our leader stats. And actually, we can just go back and just remove it. So let's just click it and click delete. Now let's go into our pet handler. We need to first get our data store service service over here. Data store service. And I'm just gonna make a data store as well. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it pet data store. Okay. Now I'm just gonna also get the player service. Players. And then I'm going to create some new functions. So let's just go down here. Let's go maybe here. Local function, load data. Player, folder, reader stats, data stats, and data ID. You have to create a key for the player for saving. Now, I always use the user ID plus the key. You also create a variable for our data. And of course, we're using a service, a data store service, so we have to use a key call just in case it errors. And we want to get data equal to get a save key. Now, if the player has any data, then we want to get the data. So that's what we're doing. And we are saving the uh, pets as string values. So that's what this is down here. So we want to put it inside the folder. And we want to go check. We also need to create two new local functions. One called create stats, which does exactly what you think it does. It creates the leader stats and the different things we want to start here. As you already know, leader stats is a folder called leader stats. You also need to create any folder for the pets that we have. Oh, but, but, yeah, all pets. Pets. Okay, you have to make a folder for that too. That's just another pets. That's easier. So, we need to create a int value for our money. And also one for the data ID, which we need to save. Money.main equals wealth money, of course. And money.parent equals leader stats. And data id.main equals data id. And we're going to load data to the player, but that's leader stats and data id. And then we're going to put the mod, we're going to put the data id inside the player. And let's make one more local function save stats. And there we go. Okay, there we go. And we want to first get the key. Which you should know how to do now. We got user ID, key, leader stats folder, which is inside of there. Worry about leader stats. Let's worry about that. We're gonna make a little data thingy, which you will save. So, of course, first we have the money value that we want to save. We also have the data ID, we got data ID.value, and we also have our pets. There we go. Now we're gonna loop through every single pet that we have, and we're gonna put it inside these brackets. So, let's do that. Let's do. So, we're gonna use table.insert. Uh, data pets um, dot name which is the pet name and of course when you use uh, call as you always do when saving and loading data so he has update async we are using update async instead of uh, load async because it's actually much better because you can ex experience data loss and stuff like that if you use load async so that's what that's why i'm always using update async now if i finish this function So of course we have to make some functions or yeah for actually saving and loading. So when the player joins the game, then we want to create the stats when the player leaves the game. We want to save its stats. So that's the pet handler, but we also have to do a tiny tiny bit more inside our pet GUI. So let's go inside here and let's let me find local hatch handler inside here 
we have to make this tiny little thing. So the first thing we need to do is get our let's see, look, our pets folder. Mm -hmm. Wait for child pets. I want the player loads the game. Um, joins the game. When I loop through every single one and create like a and just add it to the inventory, basically. The children do. Um, I'm just doing this little check just to make sure this pet actually exists because maybe it doesn't and then it's gonna error. So that what we're, that's what we're doing. So if it actually exists, we can add the pet. Okay, so that's the local hatch handler fix. And we can also, well, let's, let me just find it right here. Uh, there we go, the local equip handler. Let's go inside there and just add check boom now I want to go and see if it works so I'm just gonna play here okay well, let's see I have okay something's going on inside here so we're just gonna find out what's wrong maybe hmm Let's see, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Maybe I should actually put things inside a player. Let's see if this is better. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, pads, leader stats, data ID. Okay, great. So we have our inventory. I'm just gonna go to the server so I can add money to myself. I'm just gonna give myself $1,200. And we're gonna buy a pet. Okay. So I'm buying this pet. Okay. And I'm also gonna buy one more. Go. As you can see, that happens when I buy more at the same time. Okay, so now I have four pets. What I wanna do next is exit the game leave okay and then i'm gonna go back in and hopefully yeah i have eight hundred dollars and my pets are not there okay so something's going on i have to figure out so let's go back in, into the pet handler save stats mm -hmm. over here i'm gonna print the data i'm gonna print success message is, is there maybe something else that I should be doing that's the question of course we never actually made a value for the pet so where we actually get a pet, so that's what we're gonna do now. Pet value dot name equals uh, pet val val come on value pet by name pet val dot parent equals player dot pets. Yes, one more time. Okay, now we have two pets. Okay, let's leave. Boom. Let's join again. And I have my pets. So now, as you can see, my money saves, my pets save. So thank you guys for watching my video. Have a nice day.